What is up, y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is CJ Finley. And if you're here to learn about how you can live a healthier, happier, and wealthier life, and ultimately thrive, you came to the right place. Please consider subscribing to my channel, where I'm gonna help inspire and motivate you to thrive on life. Today's topic of discussion is why I believe you should start your own business. It's kind of funny, earlier today, I was sitting on my front porch and I saw a teenager walking down the street with a lawnmower and it kind of reminded me of myself back when I was a teen where I was shoveling snow, mowing lawns, babysitting to make some extra cash. And at the time I didn't know it, but I was sort of destined to be an entrepreneur. I was showing the skill set to become one, but I didn't even know what that was back then. Now in 2022, it's all over the place. Entrepreneurship is on social media, it's in magazines, it's on the TV. But I think one of the things that it does is it overwhelms people and makes them believe that they have to be some celebrity entrepreneur or some big tech founder. It can be overwhelming and it doesn't have to be like that. I'm a big believer that everybody should start their own side hustle or business because it can do a lot of good for your life that you just don't even realize until you kind of get started on it. So today what we're gonna be talking about is a couple of the reasons why I believe that almost everybody should start their own business at some point, but ultimately five things that I believe will help you on your journey to starting your own business, or even if you've started your own business already, help you reflect and realize why it is so important for you to continue on the journey and continue making iterations to become a better you. So what is reason number one why I believe everybody should start a business? Starting a business is a safety net. While we all look at corporate jobs and salaries as safe, I wanna challenge you because at any given moment, that company can take that job away from you. Meaning you could have a job today, you could have the safety of that salary today and all the benefits that come along with it, but tomorrow you could walk into that job and they could lay you off. It's happened time and time again to hundreds of millions of people. It's happened to my own family multiple times. It's happened to friends. I've seen it time and time again. Unfortunately, a lot of those people respond in the way of, it's the job's fault, it's the company's fault, we had a bad year. Rather than taking complete ownership and realizing what could they have done to protect themselves against that. And that's where building your own safety net, building your own business or something on the side that is going to protect you from any company downfall. At any given moment, they can release you, they can let go of those benefits, they can let go of your salary, and you're gonna be left stuck handling the problems that come along with that. The real safety net in life is you learning how to be self-sustaining. And even if it's just a small business that makes you a couple hundred extra bucks a month, if you learn how to do that, if shit hits the fan and your job lets go of you, at least you have something to put your time and energy into. And potentially at that moment, you can go from a couple hundred bucks a month to a couple grand a month, and then maybe take it on full time, or you can continue to keep yourself afloat while you look for a new job. Reason number two of why you should start your own business is because it's gonna help you acquire new skills every single day, and you're gonna be forced to master them if you ever want to succeed. When you start your own business, there's a lot that's gonna get thrown at you, whether it's sales, finances, marketing, technology, there's a lot you're going to have to learn, and beneath all that are skills and habits that you're gonna have to pick up. So depending whether you're on a product-based business or if you're in a service-based business, Obviously, there's gonna be different skill sets that you're gonna need for each of those different categories. But one thing that everybody could probably agree on is anybody that starts their own business is gonna to have to learn how to communicate with their team and their customers, is also gonna to have to have a better understanding of finances. And at the end of the day, no matter what skills you have to pick up when you start your own business, you're probably going to be better than you were yesterday because just by starting that business is like your own accountability buddy. Every single day, you're gonna have to show up to that business and realize, okay, what do I have to learn and what skills do I have to master to continue to grow this business and make sure that it stays alive. So along the course of starting your business, it's going to hold you accountable to reading books, listening to podcasts, speaking with mentors and other consultants, and really diving deep into what expertise you need to make your thing thrive. Reason number three of why you should start your own business is sort of in line with you growing your skills. You're also going to learn how to problem solve efficiently and effectively. If you cannot solve problems every single day in an efficient manner, your business is going to go under. The cool part is all the problems that you're going to endure within your business are probably going to apply to your daily life. A good instance for me 
is communication. I wasn't necessarily the best communicator prior to business. I'm still far from being the best, but it has taught me to be a better team player within the business world, which ultimately transferred over to my relationship with my wife and helped me become a better listener to her and a better communicator after I listened. Rather than always reacting to things, I learned how to respond in an appropriate manner. And that was all because of in business, I started failing by reacting. And then I iterated on those processes after I was reflecting and analyzing why was I failing in certain circumstances or projects or ideas. And a lot of the time it came down to poor communication. Solving problems in your business is gonna have a major impact on your life, especially your relationship with yourself and all the people that are around you. Reason number four of why I believe that you should start your own business, it's going to give you more freedom. It's going to give you more freedom to create. It's going to be more freedom to be curious. It's going to give you more freedom to travel. It's going to give you more freedom to learn. When you start your own business, you're going to dive down a rabbit hole of what is for you, not what is for everyone else. And what I mean by that is when you're working a corporate job, when you go in there every single day, you probably have an outline of tasks that you have to fulfill for that specific job and for your specific manager and people that are looking for you to fulfill a certain duty. When you start your own business though, you can attack it in the opposite way. You're now your own boss at the very beginning. So you get to decide how do you spend your day? What do you wanna spend your day on? Why do you wanna spend your day in that way? And at the end of every day, you can reflect on was that day productive? What did you do that day that was efficient and effective? And what wasn't? What felt right? What didn't? And then the very next day you can make changes so that it feels more in line with where you're going and what you need to be doing each and every day to have that business succeed. Number four is a huge reason why I got into business. I wanted more freedom and flexibility. I didn't like showing up to a job every single day and doing the same thing over and over again. I felt like I had more to offer the world. However, with this freedom comes responsibility that not everybody should take on. If you're somebody that does like the safety of a corporate job or a salary, the freedom to have time to do whatever it is that you want can overwhelm a lot of people. And if you're not disciplined in this area, I highly recommend you have a coach or accountability partner that's gonna hold you to spending time in the ways that's gonna keep your business thriving rather than you spending time in areas that you shouldn't be and risking your business going under. Number five, and one of the major reasons that everybody should start their own business is that you can make money doing what you're passionate about. There's a lot of conflicting information with that statement. Some people on social media will tell you, make money based on what the market is gonna tell you. And then other people are gonna say, make money doing what you love. I kind of sit in the middle. You have to understand what does the market need and match that with your passions and then persistently solve problems for happy marriage. So what did that look like for me? Well, my first business was a personal training and nutrition consulting business. What ended up happening was in my first corporate job, I would show up to the job and coworkers would ask me, hey, can you help me with my nutrition and my fitness routine? I see that you take care of yourself and I would love to learn a little bit more. So I was already training myself and in my past at college, I was helping other students get fit as well. And as an ex-athlete, I had a pretty good acumen of what people needed to do to live a healthier and happier lifestyle. So then what I did was look into getting a personal training certification and a nutrition certification so that legally I was able to coach those other coworkers up and get paid doing so. Eventually what that turned into is me training and consulting for people before and after my corporate job. And then eventually I was able to quit my corporate job because I had a sustainable income doing what I love to do, which is help other people make healthier choices and become better versions of themselves. But I want you to think about right now is where is there somewhere in your life where people are coming to you for advice? What are they asking? of you? What problems do you feel you could specifically solve? That is the first area that you could potentially start your own business in. And then the five key things that I just outlined, reflect on them and figure out how that they can be of service to you and your mission in the long run. So to reflect on what I said here today, I want you to start your own business because it's a safety net, because it's going to increase your skills, because you're going to become a better problem solver. It has the potential to give you more freedom and ultimately you can make money doing what you love. Why wouldn't anybody do that? I hope to see some of you take action after hearing this. Please feel free to tag me. I'd love to learn more about your story and what it is you're building. And if there's any way that I could help, please let me know. Until next time, this is CJ Finley. Thrive on y'all.